In this question, the figure shows a right pyramid V A B C D with square base A B C D. You can see that the length of the square is 14 and the slant height are 25. So the meaning of the right pyramid means this V the vertex when it projected to the horizontal ground to the base A B C D, it will go to the middle, the center point of this square. Okay, so part A, find the angle between VC and the face ABCD. B, find the angle between VBC to the base ABCD. C, find the angle between VA boy and V boy C. Okay, let's do it one by one. Okay, we join AC and then we draw a point M, which is the projection from V to the base A, B, C, D. Actually, the required angle is V, C, A, or you can say V, C, M. First of all, we find the length of A, C, that is, using Pythagoras theorem, to find that is 14 times square root 2, by using the right angle triangle, A, boy, C. And A, M equals to half of A, C, equals 7 root 2. Therefore, CM will also equal to AM equal to 7 root 2. And next, VM is perpendicular to the face ABCD. Therefore, angle VMC is a right angle. We can use cosine angle VCM will be MC, that is 7 root 2, over VC, that's 25. So we can find angle VCM is equal to 66.67 something degree. Let's finish part A. Angle VCA that is 66.7 something. In part B, you need to find the angle between the face V boy C to the base A boy C dot. You draw a perpendicular line from V to line boy C. Actually, that's called N. N is the midpoint of BC because V boy C is an isosceles triangle. So, when VN is perpendicular to BC, that means VN will bisect BC into two equal parts. That's a property of isosceles triangle. So, you know that VN will equal to NC, that is 7, 7. And we can find the length of VM by using the Pythagoras theorem in triangle VMC, which is 7 root 2. So, by using the right angle triangle VMC, you can find VM, the green line, that is 25 square minus 7 root 2 bracket square. This 7 root 2, that is the red dotted line, MC. Okay, so you find the green line is root 5 to 7. And hence, we can use tangent to find the angle V. N M. That is a green line, root 5 to 7, over the red solid line, 7. So you get angle V N M, that is 17.3.04 something degree. And part C, if you want to find the angle between V A boy and V boy C, you need to find the intersecting line first, that's V B. And then for each Face, you need to draw the perpendicular line to VB. That is AK and KC. And you will see that if you draw a line AK, which is perpendicular to VB, luckily KC will also perpendicular to VB because VAB and VBC are congruent triangle. So they will go to the same point and how do we find the length of KC and KA? First of all, we can draw a line, the blue line, VN. That's what we did in part B. We draw it, but we haven't found the length of this one. Now, if we find the length of VN, then we can find side angle. V B N. But why we need to find side angle VBN? Because you can use BCK this triangle 
to find the length of KC. So let's see. How do we find the blue line? We can use the right angle triangle. 25 square minus 7 square and then take the square root. So the blue line is 24. Now we consider the right angle triangle VBN. Side angle VBN would be the blue line 24 over VB 25. But on the other hand, in triangle BCK, side angle VBN, that is the green line CK over BC 14. So you can pay attention on this fraction here 24 over 25 equals KC over 14. Therefore, you can find KC over 13.44. Similarly, because these two triangles are congruent, so KA equals to KC equals 13.44. And the required angle we want to find is angle AKC that's inside the solid. So you can use the obtuse angle triangle AKC to use cosine formula. Cosine angle AKC, that would be 2 green line, 13.44 square plus 13.44 square minus the red dotted line, that is 14 square root 2 bracket square. That's the opposite to the angle we want to find. Over 2 times the green lines, you find your final answer, angle AKC, that is 94.88 something degree. That's finished. And that's for your checking only. If you want to see the solution, you can look at look at the video one more time.